things falling down here. Let's pop my video on. That's <laughs> just make sure I can hear me. Yep. Good O. Welcome. If you're with me, thank you. Can't see my screen properly. I've got my reading glasses on so I can read. So I'm Fiona Fernandez, if you don't know who I am. And I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which is what I tend to do on Wednesday nights. I've also got by Fee Handcrafts and I make handmade goods, quilts and all sorts of things. Sewn, crochet. Yeah, I didn't make these earrings, but I do make some earrings. So that's good fun. Hi Athena, welcome. So tonight I decided we'll focus a little on the mini catalogue. I had a catalogue launch on the weekend which was for the annual catalogue and that was lots of fun and that went well. But we've just got the last chance sale has started with Stampin' Up! today. So there's a few things on sale. If you want more information um, just send me a message and I'll be able to send you a copy of this list which has what's on sale. You can just go to the website which is uh, my fianafernandez.stampinup.net and have a look on in the shop section and there's a bit under the specials. If you click on specials you'll find the last chance products and it shows you how much they normally are and what they're marked down to. So there's a few here that are marked down quite a lot. So I'll have a quick look at those tonight and I just thought we'd have a look at the sweet sampler in the back. So you can get this if you host a party. So if you wanted to do that and get some friends together, I have Zoom so I can do Zoom parties. We don't have to be in person. Hi Anna. I think it's Amna. Hi Amna. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read it probably. Got reading glasses on and all, you know. <laughs> if you wanted to host a party with some friends before the end of June. This is still available until then. So to get the host samplers, you host a party and then I do a workshop host code and your sales go onto that. So any stamp and rewards that you receive, you can purchase this with your stamp and rewards. So that's a really cool little sampler. So I'll show you that over the table a bit more and we'll make a card after that and I'll use the quite curvy because that one's going. So, and that's really good special on the catalogue, in the sale. So that's really good. So that's the one with the curvy dies. So we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute too. So just a couple of things since Saturday. Um, I've finished off a couple of cards. So I'll, I'll put them on the table here and you can have a look at that. And we'll have a little, little glimpse of those. I'm trying to think what else. I've put other posts up on my Facebook page and Instagram for all the other things that are happening. So there are lots of things happening. The kits came out yesterday, so they're online now if you want to buy a kit and create with those. I'm actually planning to do some classes with those as well, and hopefully they'll be in person. But I'm happy to do them on Zoom as well. So lots of fun. So I shall put my camera up over the table. Anyone crafting with me tonight? Wait and see if anyone's crafting. And I think my question tonight, after we have a little look through this, will be what's your favourite? What's your favourite when I show you a couple of things? We won't spend too much time in the catalogue, but I just want to flick through a couple of the things that are on sale. And I'll show you what we're using for my next class. So that's out of this one as well, which is quite... I thought I'd go with something that's still available there. And I know they're getting a bit low on inventory. So if you want the whole set, um, best to snap that up quickly. You're making watercolour dot cards. Good. They're really cool. There's water dot <laughs> watercolour dot cards, Athena. They're a very clever idea. So Athena runs a stall at some markets. So she's busy, busy creating. She's one of my busy bees. So I've got a bee on tonight. So I have, my team is called the Busy Bees. <laughs> And I got this when I went to the on stage, with on stage. At, I think that was the one at home. And I thought, oh, a bee, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> All righty, I'll go and grab my camera. So if you've got ear, plug, ear pods in, make sure you remove them while I move it because it does make a little bit of noise sometimes. So I'm back in a second. Try not to get it stuck on anything. And hopefully I'm in the right position. Fiddled around with it earlier, but 
It always moves when I move it. It's stuck on my little thing. Oh, not too bad. So far, so good. Let's see how I went. <laughs> Let's wait for it to be still for a second. Alright, it might be look a funny angle because I've got the actual stand is on a bit of an angle, so let's move the cords out of the way. Won't get those in my head. <laughs> so these are the ones I started the other day in my live on Saturday when I was fiddling around and I just wanted to finish them. So I actually used the new, there's some new dies that are this shape and they're called the layering diorama dies and I've cut this piece out of the pansies and that out of the fresh freesia just to be different and that was the macrame embossing folder that I showed you. I'll bring that up a bit higher so you can see that. And the bling is the new in colour bling, jewels. And I've stamped this with a stamp. I actually embossed this one with some clear embossing powder. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit hard to see on here. Yeah, so that was one of them. And I just, oh, on the inside, because I don't like showing the ribbon and stuff that I've stuck in there, I've just put a bit of, of the, this is the pansy paper, the back of one of these. So all the designer series papers are double-sided and they have different colors and patterns on them so that was the back of one of them and on this one i've actually added a piece of the white basic white cardstock and i've just used one of the embossing folders <laughs> i think it was the macrame one and i put a little tiny bit of ink with my markers stamp and write markers around the edge i put the card on first to get position and then I just put it inside the embossing folder and squashed it a bit to get that effect around the edge which I was quite happy with just to give it a bit of a bit of a border so that was that one and then this one I was mucking around with this die cut <laughs> and so I've used it on the bottom here as well so all the little pink ones are on another card I haven't done that one yet I don't know that I'll do that tonight but I've put it on there so I used the um, adhesive that you can use so there's sheets of adhesives in the adhesive section and you stick it onto your card first and then you die cut it out and then when you pop everything out you just peel the little backing pieces off so I positioned them back into the this is another one of the die cards there's my little piece let's grab that so that's what it looks like with the adhesive on the back and then I just put that down and positioned all the little pieces in it and pushed them down, took the adhesive backing off and then pulled that off so they were all in position. So that's a bit of fun. I was just playing with this card with some triangles. I was looking for a stamp with the circles and I couldn't find one and then tonight I got this out, the sweet sampler. Look, there's a stamp with circles and I went, ah, I wish I'd realised that the other day, but never mind. It's all good. So I've just used the ones I was using in the um, the other day when I was doing my annual catalogue launch. And there's a bit of the, the bigger piece of the card with this stamp on it. So that one's got the clear embossing. This one is just dried. The, it's white. It's the Whisper White ink. And I'll just let it dry. It takes a little longer to dry than the other inks. So you need to let that sit a bit. Okay, so we'll just have a quick little look through this list. So there's a couple of things in here that if you want to know what's on sale, there is a list available. And some of them are 50% off, <coughs> which is excellent. Some of them aren't discounted at all so they're just the normal price and this will show you what's going so at the end of the list it does show you um <coughs> sorry don't clean my throat. <coughs> sorry it does show you uh, the, the little asterisks here it'll say the bundle includes some products that are not retiring refer to the list above to see which individual products are retiring so 
the, that says bundle, but not all of the products are retiring. So if you need any help with reading the list, I can help you with that. Um, you know, this, um, while the items in the bundles are not retiring, they will no longer be available as a bundle. So often through the catalogues, things are bundles and the 10% off if they're a bundle. So that's really cool. So if these things are retiring, but they're still available and not going to be in a bundle it's, and you want them, it's a good idea to get them before the catalogue finishes so that you get them as a bundle and it's a bit cheaper. So the ones that are 50% off, they might still be available as a bundle, but if you have a look at your, do your calculations because it'll work out cheaper to buy them as individual items at 50% off each. So if you need any help with that, let me know. And like I said, I can send that to you. And that's anything in this catalogue that that relates to. So the next class I'm doing on the 26th of June for my normal classes, I do them on Zoom at the moment. <clears throat> I did do one in person the other week, but then with COVID hopping around the place again, I thought we'd better just stick to Zoom for now. And I'm using this one, the Fine Floral Art. It's a suite. You don't have to buy everything. I do, for the classes, I do provide anything cut so the card, the embellishments, I can do that. I can't stamp anything for you. So you do need your own stamps if you want to do this sort of thing or use another set of stamps. But with this particular one, it's quite um, about the stamps, I think, with this one. Uh, some, some of it's die cut. So the Just Want to Say is a die cut. You can see that here. And the flowers are cutouts of what you're stamping. And it's got embossing. It's got heat and stick powder and because we're using it with the gold gilded leaf which is lots of fun <laughs> so I will package a little bit of these each if you don't have them already but if you like it's a lovely set I really like it and it's a lot of fun doing the stamping I did one on a live um, a while ago but not with the gilded leaf so that one we are using and I think the paper is on special so this is based on the page numbers the way they do the list so number 33 Fine floral art floral series paper is 40% off on its own. So if you wanted to buy the paper by itself, the rest of it is still there as a set. Okay. As a collection. The stamps and the dies will are in the new annual catalogue, but they're not um, bundled. You just buy them individually. And the ribbon's still available and the, the gilding. I don't think the number two wants that golden garden designer specialty acetate. I don't think that is. Let me just have a look. Golden garden. Yeah, that's not going to be available after this catalog because it's on this list. So that's how you work out what's on the list and what's still available. So I won't go through the whole catalog though. I don't think I need to. The other one, the curvy one that I'm going to use tonight is on sale quite curvy polymer stamp set and the curvy dies so you buy them individually if you want to get them I think that works up yeah because it works out 30 40 dollars fantastic cool so I shall put that aside and then we'll play <laughs> so I'm going to use the let's put that over there I'm going to actually use an idea out of here so the good thing about using the catalogue is you can just use it for ideas as well, which is great. It's always nice to have an idea for you. I don't actually have the hydrangea set, so I decided, I'd already thought I'd get this out and play with it. This has a hydrangea flower. I'm trying to work out what this little flower is out of. It'll be out of one of the sets. So these are all samples. So this one here matches in with the um the art one let me go back to my art one hang on <laughs> where is it where is it oh it's up this way it's this way see this stamp here matches in with this so they all match in with something so this one's the hydrangea that one's the dandy garden I'm just trying to work out what that little flower and you know what it actually looks like it would go really nicely with that new one the hand penned the hand it didn't even match in with the new thing so the seashell as well that goes with one of the seashell sets but there's new things in the annual catalog as well that will match the sand and sea 40 to 42 and this stamp set is still available for this one 
you see the shawl matches in with all this it's cool so I do like the idea which is why I got it <laughs> and I like having the host set so that people can see it right let's go back to my page I was on where was that oh this kit's been marked down as well if you wanted one of those that's my page oh, I didn't mark it there it is okay so I think what I'll do is we'll cut out some white card get some white card to make these bits with and a piece of white to do the I'm going to actually stamp underneath there that's a hard one hang on so I've got a base I'm going to use the fresh freezer base and I've already scored that down the middle so if you haven't done this before it's you use your trimmer to trim your cardstock with that one and this one is a scoring tool so it just puts a line across it here so that you can see that so it's called a valley a valley and if it's the valley's down which is, it is when you pull it out of the scorer the valley's down and then you fold the card if you fold it the other way it can crack it here's my band folder give that a squish I'm just going to put that over to the side there so that's my base card I don't think this car color card stock wasn't out when this catalog came out so that'll be another color card stock which off the top of my head I've not thought about <laughs> let me look at my other catalog hang on look at what color that is that's one of the pale colors Where's my colors there's my colours. And I think which one it is. Hmm. Not sure. It's hard to tell unless it's Highland Heather. But you could use Highland Heather. That's a nice pale one. Anyway. And I've just pulled out a few blends to colour in with. You could do... Um, so this one's actually... I. Th I'm not sure whether they've stamped that or whether they've used the paper, but the hydrangea paper might have one that looks like that. I haven't had a good look at the hydrangea. That's very pretty, and I was going to get it, but I just haven't got it. So I decided to use the stamp instead. Let me just see if I can find the paper for you. Where's the hydrangea paper? No, I can't find it. It'll be on the page. Let me go to the index, it's always handy. Hydrangea Hill, 18 to 20. There we go, there's the, the paper, see? So I think it's this one. And this tells you what colours they used. They used Rococo Rose, Highland Heather, yep. Seaside Spray, Misty Moonlight and Old Olive in this set. losing my page don't I you want to remind me what page it's on <laughs> 23 <laughs> sorry it's on page 23 right I need another piece of white hang on a second I'm just going to use so I've got some thick I've still got the whisper white but the new white is called basic white and they look the same so don't worry about that but so if I if I say whisper white, what you can buy now is basic white. Okay, it's the same. It replaced it. So I'm just going to cut that one in half. So I can play with that one. And this one I'm going to cut with the dies like, so that they look like that. So I'll just put that over there. Put my little card up there. I've just got all my stamps across the top there. And I will bring my machine over we'll do that first so these are the dies and the embossing cup machine so I'm going to use they use the two pretty ones um, so I want to cut 
cut it twice. This part. Use my thin one. I'm going to use my thin one. So I'm just going to put that one. I'm just going to sort of wing it. <laughs> this is me rolling. I just like winging it a bit some days. So I haven't, I've used the dies before, but I haven't used. I haven't made this before. I just thought I'd copy the. Let me just see how I've got my thing. It's a bit hard to get it in the picture. Right, so I'm just positioning that where I think it goes. So this piece of paper, cardstock, is quite wide. And I'm just wondering what size card they've used, actually. Let me have a look for a second. Hang on. One, two, one, two, three. So they've only done a little bit of it. Mm, actually, I might cut that in half again, and so that I'm using the width that way. So I'm just going to cut that in half. So half of that again is um, ten and a half so that I'm using it this way on my card and I'll trim it down so that it's ten all around so I've got the bit of the um, yeah I think I'll go down to nine and a half actually so I've got a bigger border there so on your cutter I'll just show you on the cutter you do have measurements here so I'd go to nine and a half across here I won't cut it in the air, I'll cut it on the table, but that's where you'd line it up there. Just put it down on the table. And then I'll do the other end as well, so that I get the full centimetre off that. And then I've got a piece like that. So I'll take that out now. <laughs> Don't want to cut the other card, do we? Right. So when you're putting dies through here, it's best not to um, have it straight. It's good to have it on a bit of an angle if you can. So I'm just going to put that uh, roughly about there, I think. That looks, oh, maybe I'll go a bit higher. I'm just looking at the picture, trying to work out what it looks like. And then um, where's my other bit? Where's my other bit? Here it is. Here's my other bit. Okay. So if you can't hold that down, like I tend to just put it through, but the other way, I'm going to come down a little bit. Put my finger on it. Just put a bit of put a sticky on it across the corner there, so that it holds it a bit. I mean it's not critical on this one it's sort of you know it'll be what it'll be depends what you're doing that went through quite nicely didn't it no big bangs yet no if I did it right <laughs> let's have a look oh, yep it's all good okay so you just take your sticky off and if you've got any, oh, there's none left in there. If you have, I just give it a bit of a tap, but that's looking good. And then this one, I will get all those little pieces off, otherwise they get stuck in the thing. And my little brush. There's a little brush tool, and this actually fits into your, I love this thing. Take a pick tool, that bit comes out. Look at that, and that bit goes in. I don't usually put it in there, but I'm just showing you so you know how it works. I tend to just use it. I have now bought another take your pick tool to use in my classes. And it comes with a piece of this foam. So you can rub it on the foam and it just comes out. Look at that. Right, let's see how we went. Got a funny thing going on in the corner there, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's one end. Looks like that. And then the other one, we're going to want down a bit and I'll put the die on it because we want the fancy little pieces again. So I'll do another cut there in a minute. Let's put that over there. 
I'll just get rid of all these little pieces because I don't like them there. I don't want them to all get stuck in the machine. Just to brush them off the board a bit. Just brush them off. Just make sure that's sitting nice and flat when you put it on there to keep your plate flat. Now we'll just do another one and then we'll trim the bottom off wherever we need to. Do this one. You know, if we put that one like that, we can use that swishy piece for something else. And I'll just do this one. Let's see, I do like these dies, they're so cool. It might go a tiny bit bigger and then we can put a sentiment on it or something, couldn't we? Another day. <laughs> so we're not wasting our board. I like to use my card up. Oh, I doubt that one was a bit harder to push through. Just hold on to it and because I'm on paper, I'm not doing too bad tonight, but sometimes it just slips everywhere. The bottom of the machine actually has rubber feet like so you can actually clean the rubber off and it won't st it sticks to my table quite well but on paper of course it's not going to let's take that off carefully and over there and so I'm going to keep that piece for something else put it in my little bucket up there so they all came out nicely and we've got all our little pieces again. Just roll that. Oh, one flew away. We'll do our other die cutting while we're here because we've got to cut out the little bird and the little leafy bit. I'll just turn that over if they're not budging. And I go a bit sideways sometimes too. I find that helps. Depends on what it is. That one doesn't want to come out. Oh, there he goes. All right, I got that one out. That down there. We'll have to cut that off a bit. Let's get rid of those. So we want a little bird. We're going to stamp him. Oh, I probably should stamp him first, shouldn't I? <laughs> Before I cut him out. All right, we'll stamp him in a minute and then we'll cut him out so I've got a piece of green to cut out some of these little leaves here and it looks like they've used two so I've got a little leaf I'm gonna go sideways a bit and this one would fit through the mini machine so if you don't want to buy a big machine there's a little mini as well look there is the mini I love it but I'm not using that too. I just thought I'd get the big one out. I just had him, had him on the floor. <laughs> Alright, so I just pop that one through. And I'm just going to come back the other way so I don't go the whole length of everything. That cuts a really nice little leaf. Look at that. Now if it sticks to the board a bit, because it's stuck to the board a bit there, sort of really just use a bit of card to get it off put him down there and do another one I think there's two on actually I'm just looking a bit closer oh, a bit hard to see I might have to do another color I might just have to do another color hang on let me have a look I think it's a darker one it's a darker green so I might go get another green I think it'd be nicer with another green the other thing you could do if you've only got one green is use a bit of um, ink or something and brush it to make it look darker. I'll just see if I've got another bit of green handy. Hang on. I've got a box full of bits and pieces. Having a look. What have I got here? I think I've got one. <gasps> is it the right size? Will it fit? Will it fit? Look at that. Is it the same? No, this one, so this one's pear pizzazz and this one will be old olive or mossy meadow. Mossy meadow is darker, I think it's old olive. Oh, look at that. How is that? Oh, awesome. 
That was handy, wasn't it? So I keep all my little bits of cut off scraps in a box, one of those little plastic, you know, file holder things for occasions just like this. Now just be careful when you put that on and move that, but I'm just gonna hold it down while I push it through a bit. Yeah, so if I'd just thrown that in the bin, I would have wasted it. So this way we used it. You never know when you're going to need it. Oh no, that one came off straight away. And you could even use that for something if you wanted to. Like you could even use it as a mask if you wanted to use your brushes. And I'll put that up there for later. So then we've got two different colours. Look at that. It's better. That looks nice. Okay, now we need a little um, bird. Just do our little bird. Put that back in my thing. Just stick that back in there. It just screws on. So this end has a little putty piece on it so you can pick things up. And this end's got a, a pointy end and a spatula. And there's also um, an embossing tool. This one that goes in there with it. Very, very, very handy tool. Right, let's find this little bird. Little bird. Where's the little bird? It's over here. Pull the plastic off. Sorry, take that away from the microphone. <laughs> don't deafen you all. We don't want to do that. Now, don't forget there's that other special on at the moment, too, if you're wanting to buy anything. Because up until the 14th of June, and that's great that it's coincided with this other last chance sale, um, if you spend $400 you get an extra $40 in product credit. So in your Stampin' Rewards, when you're doing your order, it'll automatically put it into your Stampin' Rewards once you get to that level, if you're spending that much. And if you didn't want to spend that yourself, you could always get a couple of friends together and we could do you a workshop. And you get your Stampin' Rewards that way. Right, we'll just stamp him. I think because we're going to cut this off, I'm going to put that down a bit lower, out there. I'm going to chop this piece off, about there, <laughs> about there, like that. Sometimes I measure things, <laughs> and sometimes I don't. I'll just line it up over here and chop it off. About there. And then I'm going to stamp my little bird because he'll fit on there. And we'll put him in, I think I'll just do him in black. Oh, I've washed everything off that. Okay. Just use some of this. So this is just some memento black. I haven't used him before and I forgot to wash him just then. So I'm just going to stamp him. On a bit of paper first. Oh, he came out all right, didn't he? Okay, he's good. Good to go. I'm going to stamp him up here. Boop. And I might just do a couple while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so I ruined one. I've got to colour him in yet. Wash your stamp off straight away. How are those dot cards coming along, Athena? Now, what else do I need out of this one? I need Thinking of You Makes My Day. What have we got? We got Hooray for You, Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays, Thinking of You Makes My Day, You're One in a Million. I quite like the one they've got, so I think I'll go with that. I'm going to use my big stamp for that. My big block. 
the I always put the stamp down first because it's a curvy one so with these ones it's good because you can actually change the shape of them a little bit if you wanted to but I want it just to sit there like that and just put your block straight on it and pick it up right so I've got that ready I've just got to cut out my bird just put my stamp over there we'll cut the bird out so you know what I'll get the mini out why not? It's on the floor. And the bird's only little. This is the mini. Should have the names. So I get my plates out. So with the mini, the plate system is a little bit different. The mini just has the base plate and these two, and then it's got another two for the embossing folders. So we put the little birdie on here. And I'll turn that over and find my bird. Where did I put my bird? There's a few birds in this. I'll get the right one. Is it that one? No. <laughs> no, it's not that one. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. It's this one. It's this one. Alright, so I can see through it. You just push it until it gets, starts rolling. I'm going to hold the handle because I'm on the paper, so I don't want to. So quick and easy. Look at that. Did I go all right? Oh, a bit close to him. I'll try the others anyway. We'll cut them all out, I think. I'll colour them in after. It's probably easier to colour them in first, but I want to get all the cutting done. Just try and position that one a bit more up there. It's okay. And again, you could put your sticky on there, but then I won't be able to see it anyway. So let's try this. So I'm talking to a local cafe to try and start some kid classes, like coffee and coffee and card sort of thing. See how that goes. It's exciting. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting this one in the right spot. It just won't stay still. Stay still. Just stop talking, won't I? <laughs> You're like, yeah, right. I think it's in the right spot. And just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a handmade card. It's special. I like doing the handmade cards. I like it when I know who I'm making it for too, because I, I don't know, just like to, I like it to sort of, you know, work along the lines of thinking about the person and wishing them well at the t same time as making a card. I like that. It's like when I'm sewing as well for someone. It makes it more special. Right, get that one out of the way. I might need that piece of paper too. <laughs> so for the flowers, I thought I'd do... I'm going to use the hard card for that. Oh, actually, I could use this piece. So I might do this piece under here. No, I think I will use the hard one. Oh, this one's a thick one. So we've got a thick card stock and a regular card stock. So I'm going to go with the thick one. And I'm just going to cut that down. Oh, no, I won't cut it. I'll cut it in half at least. And then go from there. So... So that 
I'm stamping on it, it'll be a bit wider. So the actual space we need, I'll just stick it under here so I can work out where I'm stamping. And I'm actually going to stick them onto it. So I've got to cut them off a little bit. I'm just going to use a pencil to give me, so I'm outside of the boundaries, but that's sort of like where it ends. Let's go up a bit higher. So I'll go down a bit lower than that. Gives me an idea. And get some, actually I might just pop that back on for a second. I'll just put a dot through there so I know where they land. Because we won't see them when I've stamped all over them. <laughs> Where's my stamp? Where's my stamp? Okay, here's my stamp. I'm just going to use, which one will I use here? Yeah, I think I'll use this one. This is my on stage stamp. So I'm going to just stamp a bit and then colour these ones in. That's what I thought I'd do. Okay, I think I'll just use the black again. stamp on my piece of paper first. That's all right. Now I was thinking last week I was going to do some um, reflection stamping but I haven't done it yet and I don't think we're doing it tonight but <laughs> of doing it facing the other way so I might do that next week where we do a bit of stamping a stamp that way and then putting it onto the silicon mat and then stamping it the other way. Tonight we'll just play with this one and I'll get my card out of there so I don't end up stamping on that. I'm just going to go over the edges a little bit because I want it to be sort of off the thing like that. You could even just leave this one black and white if you wanted to. So at the moment I'll just have a look at that, see if I'm happy. So that's going to sit in there and that one's going to sit sort of there. That's all right at the moment. And then this one will just come up a little bit more at an angle. I didn't go too high. I can move it up a tiny bit, I suppose. But that way the flowers are showing. Let's have a look. That on there. And that on there. Yeah, I think that'll do. If you really wanted to put an extra flower up in there, you could, but I think I'll leave it like that. I might put something else in there. Hmm, we'll have a think about that for a second. See what it looks like in a minute. See what else is in my stamp set. Because there's a little, um... Ah, aha! <laughs> there's a little tiny leafy thing, look. Little leaf. That's my little stamp. A little tiny leaf we could put in there, maybe. Or I could just leave it white. Nah, I'll leave it white. I think I'll leave it white. We'll just do it like that. So I've got a few colours here. Um, 
Um, I think I'm going to start. So I've poured out my few different things. I've got a pool party that's dark and that's light. So if I'm going to colour, I'll colour with a light first. So I'm going to try. Now remember we're going to slice a tiny bit of that off as well. So we'll miss a bit of that, like a tiny bit of the edges. I might just colour this one in a bit, like this. Just to get that base colour down. Do that one like that. And then I'm going to do... I don't have a lot of blends, I've only got a few. I don't have all the colours yet. And I think I'm going to do the leaves, because they didn't have leaves in their one. So I'll do that one in that colour. That's old olive, light to old olive. And then we'll do some darker stuff in a minute. Oops, I went out the lines. Whoops. <laughs> right, we're not going to see a lot of that stuff down there. You can use the thin end as well. Actually, I haven't tried the thin end lately. Let's try it on this piece. That might be better for those stalks. <laughs> so has anyone got a favourite a favorite stamp set out of this set or a favourite part of the sampler set? I'll put that there. Do you have a favourite set that you like? You can ask me what mine is, aren't you? Mm, that's hard. Um, um, I think I like the art one. Because using those stamps is lots of fun. Right, I'm just going to do all the leaves with that. And then I'll do a bit of the darker colour on the leaves too. Hi Julie, I just ask everyone what what favourite stamp, either a favourite stamp set out of the mini catalogue. We had a little look at it, we didn't look at everything. Oh look, I went outside the lines again. I'm going to be artistic tonight, okay? <laughs> That's being artistic, isn't it, when you go out the lines? Or a favourite of the sampler. So this is the host sampler from the mini catalogue, so it's going to be gone soon. Once everything goes. Are you crafting tonight, Julie? Right. That's those ones. And I want the... I want, and I've got a lot of different ones that look... <laughs> they all look the same when I look at them. That's Highland Heather. And this is Freesia. So you've really got to read the labels on these. So that's Light Freesia. And that's Dark Freesia. And that's Highland Heather. So very similar in the plastics. And then I've got, what's that one? Rich Razzleberry. I'm not sure if I'll use that. Oh, might be. And if you don't have the colour you need, you can always use your blender to get a bit of the ink off one of the ink pads to pull a bit more colour in. Or use your pencils. So with these ones on the on this stamp pad I've written on they use with blends. If you're going to use your coloured markers, the stamp and write markers, you'd use your stays on. I've written on there as well for watercolour. Okay, because that doesn't really... so I remember which one to use them with. <laughs> I think I'll use a bit of a mixture. And because I'm using the freezer on the card. Let's go with, what have we got there you like? Hydrangea Hill and Seashells. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. I never did buy the Hydrangea Hill, but I'm making one right now. <laughs> so I'll just colour this in on the base. I'll try and stay in the lines, but deary me, I need to practice. The thing I like about the art one is you don't have to worry about the lines, because there are no lines. <laughs> and when you stamp it, it's it's quite amazing the different variations you get. 
and I actually add a bit of ink like I use my my markers for that and I just color in the stamp with my marker on a little bit at the bottom and just give it another twist another twist um, I'll just do this one as well get a bit of varying colors happening what one will I do that one I should do that one a little bit different shouldn't I oh, what have I got I haven't got much else so I think I better just stick with the blue maybe I'll go with the darker one for that one we're going to lose a bit off the edge here but it doesn't matter oh I forgot these ones Do that. I'm going to do this one darker as well. And then I'm just going to add in a bit more um, of other things. So I've got my Misty Moonlight here. I think it's Misty Moonlight. Yep, Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to use that a little bit on to get a bit of blue going in. That's the light one, isn't it? Let's see what happens here. Let me look at the picture. Go a bit darker in there. See what happens. <laughs> I haven't done much colouring with these, so it's, I'm learning to. And I might put a bit more colour over the top of it. Cool. Never seen a hydrangea like that before, have you? <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm going to go. Sorry, my stamps are getting stuck. That was the light one or the dark one? That's the dark one. I'm going to do a dark one in here. And then the purpley one. I might go, I want to go dark in the middle to do something to those other blue ones in a minute. <laughs> I'd have to get my pencils out. Which is great. These are really soft. They have watercolour pencils, but I'm just going to try it on here and see what happens. Just to be different. Just give it a bit of purple over the top. I'm going to try my I've just got to check my for my other pen. Hang on a second, I won't be gone. through the book for a second. <laughs> Looking for my pens. So this is a page in an annual catalogue where you've got all these bits and pieces that you can get separately. And I'm just looking. I can't see it. Blender pens. Okay. I was just looking. The blender pens are filled with specialised solution for easier blending used with basic shimmery I'm just looking to see whether they're used for on here or not. 
and try it. They look like this. I don't know normally if you can use them with the blends or not. <laughs> not sure. We'll try it. See what happens. They get a bit of colour on them, but it just comes out. They're better with the watercolours, I think. Athena will know. Athena, are you still there? <laughs> Let's rub it off a bit. Hydrangeas are looking a little weird. So I'm going to put a bit of... The blue sort of didn't work for me real well, did it? Go with the darker one. And little dark centers. Nice bit of something going on there. Look at that. Oh, that's better. That's a bit better. I think I like that better. Just rub that off a bit. Right, so I might just go over that one with my light Highland Heather. See what happens. Get a bit more purple going in. That's better. Right, now we just got to fix those leaves. It's my green. So I've got old olive and mossy meadow for the leaves. That's dark mossy meadow and light mossy meadow. So I'm just going to go dark on one side. A little bit, not too much. Whoops, <laughs> slipped a bit. <laughs> oh, it, it'll be lovely. So these have got two ends. There's the brush end and there's the narrow tip end. I'll just blend that one a bit more with the light one. We've got a bit of a varied look on our leaves. Right. To do more practice with my blends and get the hang of it more, hey? And we've got to colour our bird in. Let's grab a bird. Grab a little bird and I've got a few. I've got, what have I got here? Let me see, I've got light daffodil delight and dark daffodil delight. They come in a combo, so you get a light and a dark in them. Light mango melody and dark mango melody. So my bird, oh, I've covered everything up. I'm going to put them back over there. Let's put them all back in the box over there. Out of the way. Helps if I have a box on the table. Um, so the little birds, dark and light yellow. So we'll start off with the... Right, which one will I do? Mm. Mm. Can I go light? 
Daffodil Delight. Daffodil Delight on his little dress. There we go. And we'll go da Daffodil Delight on his head. And his back. Well, there's two bits of his back. I should do one a bit different. Maybe I'll put a bit of the mango melody on that one. Just to be a bit different underneath. Make it a little bit darker there. There we go. Lovely. Oh, I went to pick that bird up. <laughs> it's on the paper. <laughs> Oh, silly me. All right, let's have a look what we got. We've got our card, which I'll cut in a minute. And we've got our thing there. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the size down so it's like that size. I'll just put that over here. check what that is. So it's nine and a half centimeters wide. I'll just take half off one side. And half off the other side. So it looks like that. And then that's going to sit up there. Oh, well, it doesn't have to sit up there. Actually, it could sit up there, couldn't it? Let's have a look. Um, I had it down a bit lower, didn't I, with those dots there? I might come down a bit lower. Work out exactly where I want it before I trim the the thing off and then that one if I do that that will go down oh, so we don't want to go too low do we no, I think I'll stick with that size we had originally okay and that will be 14 uh, 1385 so we don't want to cut it to that first of all we want to cut off half a cent half a centimetre five millimetre and then cut five millimetres off the other end as well. Sorry, <laughs> I should bring that over here. So there's the five millimetres I just chopped off. And then I'm just lining it up here to cut another five off. And I'm just going to rub out those I'm going to put my rubber rub out my dots now I don't think you'll see them anyway but I'll just rub them off if I'd stamped more flowers you'd cover them up totally but see these ones are make sure they're all rubbed off I'm going to stick that one on there like that and I'm going to stick that one on there let's just see how it sits on my card that one on there okay so before I do that I'm just going to stamp on this one and use this stamp hope it fits <laughs> stamp that across there Actually, it's looking a bit different in that. So this is interesting. So with this, you can actually shape it a bit. Because I feel like it's not sitting with the, the thing as much as I would have liked. So I'm just going to stick that on the card a bit. And you can bend it down and around a bit to suit where you've actually got that and then stick it on the stamp. So I'm going to use, they've used something really light, so I'm going to use the grey granite, I think. Is it grey granite? I wonder if that's too light. 
Let's see. We'll do a test. Just take that off there. Throw my bit of paper. I'll throw my bit of paper somewhere. There it is. That's my trusty bit of paper. You can use your grid paper, but you know me. I just put a new one down. <laughs> Right, let's test that first. Looks like that, and it'll dry a bit lighter than that. So that's actually looking darker than that colour, isn't it? I might just try the other colour for a minute. I always shut those because I don't want to make sure they snap shut. This one as well. This is um, Smoky Slate. Oh, can't get it open. Oh. Let's get that off there. Wait. Because it's grey, I won't worry about cleaning it off. If it was a totally different colour, I would. Oops, it is. Right, I think that's nicer. Might go with that one. Right, let's get that off. So I have um, mats under here. The, the pink mat is like a craft mat. And I've actually got two, one on the top of the other at the moment. But you can actually, if you don't have anything like that, you can get these stamp and pierce mats to stamp on. Especially when you're using these stamps, the, the clear ones, the photopolymer. Because it gives you a better stamp. So I'll just, let me have a look at the picture. Go there. Go. Lovely. Let's clean your stamp off. The, the chamois is what I'm cleaning the stamp on, and then that is clean. <laughs> Believe it or not, they do get stained. <clears throat> right, just make sure your stamp pads are shut. Oh, we're nearly there. <coughs> oh, I know what I haven't done yet. We'll do that in a minute. Let's get this card put together. I'm going to put my... I don't think we're tying anything underneath. Nope. So I'm going to just... I might just use tape on this one. I'm going to put my silicone sheets. I washed my silicone sheets the other day. When I'm doing glue, I like to use one of these. You can just rinse them underwater and give them a wash. And the glue doesn't stick to them. Sorry, it's not working. <laughs> Takes me a bit to get that going sometimes. But it doesn't stick to the actual silicon mat, which is really good. There's lots of uses for it too. So we'll use that next week when I do some reflections. I'll just put that down first. So one of the things you can do is put your mat like that. Where's my bird? So that you don't stick anything to this corner yet. But you can see your card through it. So I can line that up looking through the mat. You might not see that properly on the table there. It's a bit hard to see, but I can see right through it. And then I can look up here and say, have I got it in the right spot? Before I stick it down, because I want it to be quite straight. I hope I've got it in the right spot. And it sort of sticks to the mat a little bit, but not, not much. And it will just let go. I think that's right. Hope it's right. that corner down. And just carefully pull it out. Oh no, that didn't work. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> I have done this before. Doesn't want to let go today. The 
just because I said that. It's not letting go. Let's get that one down. It's going, I don't want to let go. Or I've got it too far in. I might have had it too far in. I really like that flower in the middle. Looks good. Just gonna get that now file. I'll keep a file in my kit. Look, it matches. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Okay, that's that one. And then we'll just do the others as well. So that's the top one. Let's get it started on the map. I want that to go right to the corner. Quite a bit roughed a bit up there. I'll have to. I hope that file's down all right. Must have bumped that on something. It's coming good. That's okay. Stuck to my fingers. I'm going to line that right up with the corner of the card. And stick it down. And then just check this one before you put your glue on it. And make sure we've got it right. That'll go there. But I'll just have to file that one as well. trouble with this sometimes. <laughs> Just got to run it a little bit. Just put another bit in the middle and down the side. Just come as close as I can to the um, design. You can put a bit of, if you wanted to use the to get it to stick right down you could put the tombow on there but I think that'll be all right. I'll put a little bit on this corner here. Ah, didn't get it on there. There we go. A bit on the corner. Now that's come around the edge a bit so I'll just push that back. I think it's okay. Oh that was lucky I dropped it upside down. <laughs> Just line that along the bottom. It's looking good. Oh, I'm liking this. Very pretty. Very nice. Okay, so what they've done here, I believe, we've got a blend off here, look and the twine. So I think they've colored the twine. So I've got some twine, linen thread. Not enough to do a bow so I'll just tie a bow first and work out how much I need. A rough bow to put under my bird. And I'll do and then undo it and get your paper. Let's get my stamps out of the way. And I'll go with the which blend will I go with? Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> probably the darkest one I've got, which is a rich brazzleberry. I don't know if you can get rich brazzleberry anymore. I've got a feeling I bought that on a special. I know we're doing it out. Sorry, I like to use things that are current, but I've just realised in the book. Rich raspberry. They don't have the blends in that. They've got the blends in the Blackberry Bliss, so. so they don't have blends in every colour. So yeah, I think I got that when it was leaving, and I haven't got the, the other one. Or I've not used that one then, because it's not current. I want to use something current, so we we'll use the Highland Heather, because <laughs> that'll be dark too. All right. So I'm pretty sure it'll work. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Actually, I'll try the other end. I'll see if the other end works better. Because it's harder. This end is a bit stiffer. The other one's like a brush. That's better. I'm not sure how long this takes to dry either, so we might have to put this on last after I should probably should have done this first you can learn from me but if you're doing this at home <laughs> do this bit first so that it will dry in time here we go look at that I'll test it in a second see if it's dry already I mean, they're alcohol blends, so it might dry quickly. But you could go, you wouldn't have to go as dark as I'm going. You could just go sort of half, and you'd still end up with a bit of the linen on it, which is not a bad look either. So that's one good thing about buying the linen thread is it's, um, you can colour it in. The ribbon, some of the ribbons you can do that with as well. The white crushed ribbon is good like that. Let me just check the other side. That'll do. Let me check. It's a clean finger. <laughs> it's still wet, so we'll just leave that to dry over on the side of my table. Let's put that over there. Let's wipe my fingers off. Now I've got <laughs> red lines on me. Let me just check in the book. Ribbons. Ribbon. Ribbon stuff. Let's see what we've got. So this one here, the white crinkled seam ribbon. I know you can colour that in. So it's good to have in your stash. There's linen and thread here. And there's also baker's twine. You can colour some of them in too. Right, so what have we got to go? We'll just put these little bits on and the birdie and we'll be done. And the inside, I haven't done inside, but I could do a white, I'll do a white card inside and perhaps even stamp either a bird or um, what else have we got in there? A bit of the, you could put a piece of this in there or um, even do the hydrangea just in black and white but I won't do that now I might finish that off later so to put my little pieces on we'll put the dark one on underneath I'll just use some little dots so these are glue dots I'm actually going to use this little my tool to get that off and then put it looks like about there I'll put it there Oops, I will. <laughs> I will. I'll put it there. Right. Being silly. I think I'll put it there. And my little bird's going to sit there. So just push that on a bit. And then we might be able to get away. No, I'll put another dot on. I like to have enough glue on there to make sure it sticks. And I'll put one over the top. I'm going to put that one on there over the top. And that one, bring that one down a bit, I think. Hang on. That angle. 
pull that one down a bit. There. And then we'll put our little bird. I'm actually thinking the bird might need a little dimensional under him. There's my mini dimensionals. Find them. It's looking very pretty. I'm going to put a mini dimensional onto the top of him. Onto the top there. There. So that when we stick him down onto the glue dot, the mini dimensional will hold him up. Another dot on top of the other dots. That should secure everybody. Make sure nobody goes anywhere. They shouldn't. And just pick that up. Move that out. Well, I can't see the picture. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. Got our little things on there. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Love it. All right, let's get rid of the gluey bits off my page. Doesn't matter if we've got extra birds around, does it? They're okay. They can fly around. Put your glue tip back on the lid. Lid back on the glue. All right. Now we'll just see if our ribbon's dry. to the paper see if we're dry enough to play with it I think we are feels all right okay so I'll just tie a little bow I'll just <laughs> I'll just tie a little bow she says <laughs> stiff with it all coloured in like that. I'll just bring my picture back for a minute for you. There's the picture. That's what we're using tonight. Now they've got theirs going a little bit more through there and over the top like that. I'll just get another glue dot and stick that sort of under there where I want the bow to be. Go down there. <laughs> I think that'll do. I think that works. And then I'll trim it off in a minute. Just want to push that glue dot up a bit so that it's sitting right up. not sticking out too much because there's not much to this linen thread there we go let's give it a bit of a push with your take your pick tool love this tool so handy I still remember my first class at Mandy's when I saw the take your pick tool and we had to share it and I was like oh <laughs> I couldn't wait for a turn it's like I want to have a go with that so now I have one I have two <laughs> if you come to my classes right I'm not going to leave it that long like in the picture I do sometimes I do like them long sometimes I think I'm going to trim it off a bit I'm going to go a bit shorter get rid of the ends Right, I think that's it. There we go. That's a little bit different. So it just gives you ideas of what you can do with that. Or you could do you could use another designer series paper completely. So I could have used the um you know the pansies. Would have looked nice under there too, this one. So there's all sorts of things you can do to mix and match things. But anyway, if you've just tuned in, um just 
talking about this catalogue tonight because it's on sale. Some of the items are on sale and, and the rest, uh, some are retiring and some of them are already in the new catalogue. So check out the sale online, fionafernandez.stampinup.net. And if you're buying with me and you're ordering under $250, um, I'd love it if you use the host code. That'll connect it to me and as well to my workshop for the month which means I get the Stampin' Rewards and put them back into my business. So if I'm doing classes, I do lucky door prizes, things like that. If you join my team, um, there's rewards along the way as well. So um, And I give gifts, thank you gifts, if you spend over $50. So that's how I use my Stampin' Rewards. Put them back into it and so I can get the gifts for people. So that's really nice. A nice little surprise in the mail. So that's my card for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions about your crafting, stamping or any of the products that I've used, let me know and I'll be happy to have a chat and answer your questions. Okay, I'll see you next week. Ciao.